a thread by Carlos Osuita. You know what's funny, President Trump and Melania? Funny as in the sushi that sat on my front porch for a week in the summer heat smells funny? The science-worshipping Democrats are making tons of anti-science claims. From nymag.com, Trump is on steroids. How worried should we be? Carlos continues. The Chinese World Health Organization said that dexamethasone is given only to COVID-19 patients who were at death's door. So how does a man at death's door fake being asymptomatic in the videos you had filmed at Walter Reed? Were you wearing an internal mechanical ventilator or, or, or did they use computer generated imagery, CGI to remove the oxygen mask and hoses? Duh, I've got the answer. In the pre-digital era of photography, I knew a commercial food photographer. She told me how they photographed cakes. This is what they did in your case, President Cake. You can't fool me, pal. Even though digital photography is easier to edit, there's still a major problem when it comes to food photography. Lighting. To make the cake look its best, you had to photograph it indoors under super bright, super hot lights. The lighting setup eliminated all shadows. You use super bright lights on all sides. To make editing easier, you used an ultra large format view camera that had negatives that were 16 by 20. The company or bakery that hired you made two identical cakes. One was the stunt cake that went under the lights. The other was the real cake that went in the food stylist's portable refrigerator. You had about 10 assistants for lighting. It took all day to get the lighting right. You used Polaroid film to check everything. When the lighting was perfect, you rehearsed taking the cake from the refrigerator and putting it exactly where the stunt cake was. The assistant photographer used a stopwatch. You only got one shot at this. The assistants rehearsed removing the stunt cake. The food stylist rehearsed opening the refrigerator and transferring the cake to the set. And the assistant food stylist rehearsed drizzling the caramel sauce, for example. Rehearsals could take an hour until you developed muscle memory. Ask any special operator. The training takes over. When the muscle memory was there, the room got silent. The person with the stopwatch gave you the countdown from 10. When the counter shouted, go, he or she counted the seconds to make sure that you exactly duplicated the timing of the rehearsals. The stunt cake was removed. The real cake was put in place. The caramel sauce was drizzled and click. Your cake was immortalized. Everybody did a NASA mission control cheer. And that is how the Walter Reed videos were made. President Trump was in bed on a mechanical ventilator while a stunt Trump spoke to the camera. A staff of 2056 rehearsed getting him out of bed, removing the mask and hoses and letting him speak one word, then back to bed. They did this all day and night until they had a video. A little blending filter to smooth out the hundreds of cuts and bingo, President Cake presented himself as well. Jake Tapper wasn't fooled. He's an adult, you know. Jake Tapper tweeted, this is me alone in the CNN coffee room abiding by basic health regulations because that's what adults do. <gasps> Since masks are intended to be worn only when in close proximity to other humans, and since Jake says he was alone, I guess he feels an obligation to protect machinery, walls, floors, and ceilings from infection. Or maybe Jake thinks machinery, walls, floors, and ceilings are human. I saw my first episode of My Mother in the Car when I was four, link in the thread. It horrified me because it reinforced my fear that most of the world is insane.
In the episode I saw, Jerry was halfway inside the front, lying across the seat, and the car door was spanking him for being naughty. Do you suppose Jake Tapper asks machinery, floors, walls, and ceilings how they're doing every morning? What if they answer him? In his mind? When I was four, I never wanted to become an adult because so many were crazy. Lucky that turned out not to be true, right? <laughs> I cracked myself up. I read today that Trump is suffering from roid rage after a few days of light steroid doses. Anti-science science from Democrats. A Trump-hating far leftist at Mother Jones told the truth about dexamethasone when Jake Tapper and his friends machinery, floors, walls, and ceiling, refused to do so. MotherJones.com, a quickie comment on dexamethasone. Quote, given my extensive experience with dex, I've gotten a lot of queries about why President Trump's doctors would give him such a terrible drug unless he was in seriously poor health. <laughs> the answer is simple. In general, the bad effects of DEX only show up after you've taken it for a few days or weeks at least. If you take it only once or twice, it reduces inflammation like any good corticosteroid, but most likely doesn't have any seriously ill effects. So that's that. Giving Trump a dose or two of DEX is a pretty easy decision. It's helpful for people with temporary breathing problems and is generally well tolerated in short courses. See how it's done, Jake Tapper? If you're willing to tell the truth, I don't care what your politics are. Now go back to the CNN coffee room, Jake. The machinery, floors, walls, and ceilings are calling. I will be the greatest president that God ever created.